Howdy champs, my name is Mohitan guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a, a, a random image generator. Now guys, there are a few tutorials on YouTube that actually allow you to generate random images, but there's a problem with the, those programs and the problem is that there are times when I've actually seen the one image actually repeat three times before the image actually changes. Now this kind of a program is uh, very near to perfect. The action script that I've written is very near to perfect. It makes sure that uh, the chances of an image repeating in a cycle are almost uh, nil. right? Guys, uh, let me open up this folder, the pictures folder, which is actually carrying all the assets. Okay, Guys, again, uh, in this project, what I've done is I've used four pictures, one, two, three, and four call them pick one pick two pick three and pick four these are all uh, jpeg images guys and i've uh, actually called them inside flash using the loader class so basically all the assets are located externally all right this is the flower file guys uh, this is the swift file and this file is just like the introduction uh, picture which will be called upon just once initially that's it all right guys in fact uh, let me show you a, a, a preview and then we'll jump inside flash and we'll understand the script that is firing of a near perfect image generator guys so here goes okay you'll notice uh, that uh, an image the chances that an image will repeat itself is extremely extremely low guys here the pictures are actually changing to the next picture after four seconds you can actually you know you can adjust that value you can make uh, it three seconds or two seconds or whatever okay that's entirely up to you but the way the action script has been written uh, as I said ensures uh, that the repetition of images does not take place I mean there are chances but it's it's uh, really low especially if you're uh, you know if your image uh, Im the, the the number of images that you're using for your project are many then uh, the chances are almost negligible that an image will repeat itself and that's where the magic lies guys okay so guys as you can see this random image generator is working very well all right so let's dive inside the actions uh, panel and understand exactly how this was done all right so guys i already have the project open in front of you guys you can actually notice there's absolutely nothing on the stage the stage has a color of on sign triple three triple three all right and uh, if you have a look on the timeline just have one single layer let me call it as3 as3 for action script 3 let's have a look inside the library lab is also completely empty so this is one of the projects guys where the library is empty and the stage is completely empty okay and everything else has been kept externally inside a folder guys uh, this kind of a program uh, warrants that you should keep your flower your swift and all the pictures inside the same folder the the script has been written in such a manner okay you should save your flower uh, in the same folder as the uh, external assets or the external pictures that's a must guys right <coughs> so um, let me open open up the actions panel for you guys all right and let me then talk about the uh, 30 odd lines of action script that i've written for you okay guys uh, lines one through five are actually certain classes that that'll get uh, generated automatically once you start writing the script all right now it's using quite a number of classes okay uh, guys have a look out here in line number eight i've actually created an array now this array is nothing but the list of picks located externally right so these all pictures are actually lying in the uh, folder outside flash right uh, guys as i said i've used the loader class and uh, i'm sure you're aware that the loader class is used to load external assets okay so here i'm actually uh, attempting to load the initial image so i've created a variable my loader of the type loader is equal to new loader basically that that's the instantiation proce process guys instantiation process uh, i beg your pardon process okay 
so a new loader uh, has been generated okay then guys I'm using the the load method so my loader dot load and uh, then I'm using the new URL re URL request class to call upon an image that I'll be using just once see random image dot PNG has been used just one as an introductory uh, image all right and then I'm using the add child method to add the loader onto the stage guys the stage is uh, 800 by 600 the images are also 800 by 600 pixels all right guys since it's an automatic picture gallery I have to have to have a timer I have to use a timer I've used the timer class guys in line number 15 I've uh, declared a variable called timer of the type timer and uh, I'm making sure it's firing off uh, let's make it 3000 4000 is a bit too much so basically a new instance of a timer going at three seconds uh, you can change this 3000 to match your preference obviously all right creating a timer is uh, is not enough guys you need to start it too that's done in line number 16 i have to add an event listener to the timer okay and every time the timer fires guys it is um, you know running a function r pick r pick for random pick or random picture okay let's see what the function random picture does all right guys the first thing that i've done is in, uh, you know you can read out here in the description i'm actually picking up a random picture from the array now these uh, pictures pick one pick two pick three and pick four are, are actually located externally guys if you uh, want to include more pictures then you should increase the size of the array obviously guys right and these names out here should match the names of the pictures outside in your folder right goes without saying isn't it so basically the logic goes like this guys either I'm picking up a picture from the head or from the tail of the array so sometimes it will pick up from the head and sometimes it will pick up from the tail of the array and that is exactly uh, what is causing uh, the array to not only get depleted I make sure that the image does not repeat itself guys I'm using the array pop and the array shift method now guys uh, if you know how to work with arrays the shift method uh, you know deletes a picture picks up a picture from the beginning of the array and the pop method will pick up from the end of the array or the tail of the array and not only does it pick it up it actually deletes it too also the array gets smaller and smaller all right unless the array actually becomes completely void so using this method picking either from the you know the head or the tail is where the randomness uh, actually uh, comes in you know so that's how you know things get shuffled so you can notice out here how how uh, i have i actually done that you can read the comment it says picking a random picture either from the head of the tail of the array all right i've actually declared a variable uh, rno rno for random number and i'm making it equal to math dot random parent parent now math dot random parent parent method of the math class generates a random number between zero and one always all right between zero and one so if the RNO is greater than or equal to 0.5 and the 50% chances are that will be greater than 0.5 uh, if that is the case if it is greater than 0.5 then I would want a variable my pick to be equal to image list now image list is the name of the array guys dot shift method now shift method will pick up the first picture from the array and delete it okay uh, if it is not greater than or equal to 0.5 that is RNO is not equal to greater than uh, you know 0.5 I would want the else statement to be run which will ensure that my pick the variable my pick then becomes equal to image list dot pop img list dot pop now img list dot img list is the array guys and the pop method will pick up the last picture from the array and delete it right so I'm a I actually picking up a picture either from the uh, head or the tail of the array okay then guys I'm actually creating another variable my request of the type URL request now URL request uh, class is actually uh, needed to point to a picture and I'm pointing to my pick and my pick is uh, any any pick from the array guys all right then I'm using the load method to load my request okay I'm removing uh, the loader before I can add a loader guys so I'm using both these methods remove child and add child I have to remove the previous loader to you know add the new loader so I'm changing the value of the loader guys if you remember I had use add child my loader out here it had this picture uh, random image.png 
I have to remove it before I can add it again with the new value guys okay and obviously guys I have to reload the array see what happens when you either pick up an image from the head or the tail of the array and uh, using the pop in the you know the the, the pop method or the uh, shift method after the timer runs four times all the four images will exhaust themselves the array will become completely empty and which means that the array uh, length will be zero so I'm using an if conditional to reload the array guys so if the array length is equal to is equal to zero that's a check that's why we use two equal to signs that's a check so I would want uh, the array list uh, to reload itself to become like original so I'm using the push method guys to pu push those pictures pick one pick two pick three pick four back into the array once the array gets it you know completely empty so that's it that's the reloading reloading process so basically uh, you, you see the logic is to uh, you know deplete the array and then to reload the array to deplete the array once again and to reload the array and the timer actually does not have a repeat count so it goes on in an endless uh, you know loop which and um, you know the uh, the delay has been set to 3000 out here and that is something that you can change guys so guys uh, in my eyes this is one of the best programs uh, written for uh, creating a random image especially because with this uh, program or with this script uh, the chances of image uh, you know images repeating themselves are um, as good as not there uh, especially if the array is pretty pretty big all right so let me test the uh, uh, script that i've written once again before i wind the tutorial here goes control enter on my keyboard to uh, test the movie okay the first and, and guys i'll let the the you know the uh, image uh, slideshow to run for some time so you can be sure that images actually don't repeat themselves right so guys um, I hope you like this tutorial uh, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another uh, flash and action script 3 tutorial or it could be dreamweaver with HTML CSS you have a good day guys bye bye peace